Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of March 2020 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Okay. All right. Let me put these cards to the side so you can see these other cards. Um, the heart of the matter is the tower card. I got this for another sign. I don't. I can't remember which one. Leo was it? And um, the tower card is something that has happened that has made you have to kind of. Um, that has altered your life, maybe dramatically. I actually, yeah, um, wh whatever sign that was, somebody told me that they lost their job and the next day they got a new job. And because one of the things about this card is it's a card of release. And that means that the person may have been resisting change and so the universe took over and made it happen. Um, and... I feel like this being the central theme, that this is something that has already happened. So in other words, this is not a predictive card of what's going to happen in the last half of March. So it's something that you've been coping with. I immediately thought of the, because of another card, I think because of this card, um, the Ten of Cups being in reversed position, that this had to do with the lunar eclipse in Cancer back in um, January. And, you know, even after an eclipse, it's not necessarily on that date. It could be months later that the person has to deal with something. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so the point of the tower, though, because people tend to... S be simplistic about cards and just in life in general about concepts. People tend to go, oh, that's bad. And oh, this is good, you know. Uh, you, oh, the Nine of Cups, that's good and that's bad. It's, it's far more complicated than that. What it means is that there, there, it, there might be something challenging, but it's for your highest good. You know, and you... If you look back, maybe it would even take a couple of years in some cases for a person to really be able to have it sink in what a blessing it was in disguise, but it happens. In the past position, we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this can be a message about money. So if there was some kind of um, situation that you you know you could you open something up in the mail and it was a shocker to you that you didn't realize that that the financially something was off i mean if you're in married or in a committed partnership you and that other person maybe that other person ran up the credit cards and you didn't realize that or something shocking um page of pentacles though can also be um you know, a new job or something. So perhaps it was something that you thought was going to, to work out and it just didn't. Um, and you just kind of put all your eggs into one basket and it just feels, and especially I think a Capricorn person may tend to overreact when it comes to their material matters where they, where you um, are a little bit more sensitive to um, something, you know, not being quite right, uh, because you, you just, you're an earth sign, so that's really how you're acclimated, and you want to have that sense of continuity, you don't want something to just kind of throw everything into disarray. Also, I mean, this could be love at first sight with a, with a fellow earth sign. So, um, Taurus, fellow Capricorn or Virgo, <clears throat> 
The higher message is the King of Wands. So, as I was saying about any kind of job instability, the King of Wands is saying you're a leader, you're a confident leader. Um, and maybe you need to embody that. Maybe, I, I always say that I could imagine, even though Cap Capricorn is a cardinal sign, that you work for other people. Usually cardinal signs are better off working for themselves because they're self-motivated, uh, self-starters, and people like that, kind of it rubs them the wrong way to have somebody give them orders because they, they just don't feel like that person um, needs to do that. And that's just the nature of the beast when you're working for somebody else. And so to understand that you have ultimate authority of over your own life just in general maybe even the spiritual sense this is the spiritual um position so it's a higher um message rather than the mundane whatever's going on that you're the captain of your ship in your life and that you cannot give away your power to not only anybody else but to anything else in terms of you know, if something unwanted occurs, that you don't just go into this fear-based um, mode of thinking that life is happening to you, that you always believe that you have um, the ability to manifest your destiny, you know. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> that was a book by um, Dr. Wayne Dyer, Manifest Your Destiny. It was a great, I, you know, he came up with some great titles. Um, what crosses you is the Ten of Cups. So this is like disruption of family. And um, yes, this might be some kind of domestic situation. Um, and the king is the father. But this is like a very strong father, a leader. Um, if you, let's say that you're a man and your wife, you found out your wife is cheating on you. The king of wands is, that doesn't, you know, you still have to be a strong father. You can't fall apart. You can't um, lose it. You know what I mean? And you don't have to. You're, but this is really about autonomy with the king of wands. Um, and even, you know, uh, Cancer, uh, Capricorn, well, well, your opposite sign, Cancer, as well. I just did Cancer. Um, both of your signs are very family-oriented. So there can be this, you know, this feeling of taking things very personally when it comes to threatening the... Um, you know, the the family structure. But it's understanding that you never stop being that, um, you know, that leader for your children. And so you have to model strength in, in adversity and not to, to allow yourself to... to um, to think thoughts that are weakening, that, that don't serve you. And, you know, it's funny because Capricorn, I always think Capricorn is such an interesting sign because there is a lot of that king of wands. You know, wands are fire energy, so it, it, I'm kind of stretching things. You're more like the king of pentacles, to be honest. But that idea of, there's like a, a lot of strength in Capricorn, but I think the one area of weakness that you have to guard against is pessimism is melancholy and pessimism and that's from the saturnian influence of your ruler um the glass half empty and the king of wands being fire energy which is a positive sign feminine signs like earth signs are negative i know <laughs> maybe that's sexist right you know why is the masculine positive in the feminine? it's it's really if you think of genitalia um there's an Audi and an any. <laughs> so that's what negative means, that inner, you know. But anyway, um, 
the 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 Saturn idea is very like you know pull yourself up by the bootstraps and and be very um, stiff upper lip but really you have a beating heart you have you know like a heart chakra you know and so it's it's important to acknowledge your feelings but you have to keep them in perspective and not get allow yourself to get uh, cynical you know that's the important thing now this is what is so interesting what's coming in is the nine of cups this is a card of wish fulfillment this is actually very positive emotionally so this is kind of what I'm um, hinting at sometimes we have these experiences that come across as very dramatic and seeming to be horrible and they put us in a better place and, and so this place could be better emotionally it could be better financially uh, the nine of cups even though it's connected to the emotions can actually be for um, abundance as well and you may be tempted you know they always talk about the smug expression on the uh, nine of pentacles to to kind of be like look at me now but um, the truth is that it's better to to be dignified and to be humble and Cap Capricorns usually are very humble regardless of you know how ambitious you are you still may have that that humility the outcome is the judgment card and this is a card of rebirth um, rebirth after you know rising from the ashes of of um, you know something that may have been very challenging so um, this is not necessarily, you know, I always say it's kind of funny because these, when I do readings for like two weeks, it's like this big thing, you know, maybe because I'm a Sagittarius, everything has to be a bit, um, overblown. Um, but I can't seem to condense things. So this is just kind of a snapshot of things that might be going on in your reality. Okay, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.